Good afternoon, everybody. Look, I got my shirt on. If you watch our vlogs, you know where we're going because of the shirt. So, where are we going, guys? Epcot. Spelled E-P-C-O-T. E yes. But we're going to get something from Greece. And then we're gonna hang out the rest of the evening in Future World. We got some fast passes. We're gonna try out this new this new ride called Mission Space. Well, what's the new part of it? Relaunched. Uh, relaunched Mission Space. So hopefully that doesn't make me have a headache um, because Mission Space always gives me a headache. And then I think we got a Sea with Nemo drones. Is that what it was? Uh -uh. Test to, track and Living oh, with the Land. Oh, Test track Living with the Land is expired. Oh. Um, I always get one super early, like, I get off work at 5 or 5.30, I'm home either at 5.30 or 6. I always try to get like a, a 5.30 or 5.40 to 6.40, even though I know it's a risk because we eat and then go. But it's always like, if we make it, we make it, we don't, we don't. I realized we didn't say where we were going. <laughs> that doesn't say it right there. This evening we have parked at the boardwalk because- It smells so good. It smells so good and it feels good. It's breezy again and it's like 75 and it feels great. I think it's but like we, 82, but that's okay. It feels like 82, or it's 82, but it feels like 75 in my heart and my brain. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna fill up our pop because we still have like six days, five days, six, six days left in our resort mugs, and we said we were gonna use them, so we are gonna use them. Now we're gonna stroll to be happy as can be. I don't think we have plans yet for this weekend. I could be wrong. She's got, she's the thinker and the planner. But in the meantime, until she figures out what we were actually supposed to be doing, put down below what we should do this weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We came here set to get the taste of Greece right here. But Sarah's not sure anymore because those little suckers right there. The loaded Greek chocolate oil, those green nachos look good. They just don't look filling. What are we trying? The taste of grease and the crowd here tonight is big but it's not hot at all like there's no crowd heat there's no sun heat it's breezy and it's cool it's looking like a good night we might watch illuminations again guys i cracked i got we got the nachos because i know sarah secretly wanted them but look how big this is it's huge and it's 450 this is probably the biggest item per dollar is it heavy amount. yeah it's heavy yeah wow. and it's hot and it looks a little good I'm not a big fan of all, but we got it. I love olives. I hate olives. The olive theory. So it's super messy because it's pita chips, but I had no idea that it was pita chips. It's and it's all vegan. It's all vegan and it's all really good. It's not feta. Or at least I don't taste feta. I think my mind's just blocking it all out. Was that not good? But it didn't look good. I don't like olives. Oh, I love olives. You're supposed to save that for me. No, it's hidden all in the goodness. This is Sarah's Epcot dress. She wears this only at Epcot, kind of like how I have my Epcot shirt. That's not true. I've never worn this here. I only wear this shirt at Epcot. I actually think I wore it to Animal Kingdom once, but it's my classic Epcot go to. Still uncovered from the hurricane, and Sarah had no idea. I did, but it's just been a long time since the hurricane, so I was like, is it always like this? No, they're just waiting to put it back. Maybe they're getting a new one. Maybe they're like, hey, we already took it down. Let's get a new one. Just designed the car of the future, and now you're ready to go fly to the future. Fly to the future. We have our fast pass for Mission Space. Relaunch Mission Space. Relaunch. We don't know. We haven't done. We haven't done the new one yet. 
I also forgot how amazingly fast and how great that ride is. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, you gotta see the you gotta see the, the footage because it looks crazier when you're forward facing rather than like selfieing it. Uh, but it was a lot of fun and I'm nervous for mission space because it always gives me a headache. It gives me a headache. Does and it do the deep force? I don't know. Okay, give him the update. So green and still green and orange. Orange is the Mars mission, which is the intense one. Green is the Earth one. So it's we shouldn't have a problem. Sequences. But this is just Earth. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now. But don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet. Training. is an excellent ship. Go for launch. Eagle. Go. Surgeon. Go for Network. Go for You are go for launch. Mission control. The tower is clear. Your flight path today is taking you across the United States, past the Grand Canyon, and leaving the continent at San Francisco. Forth of a strong storm cell directly in the landing path. say we did relaunch mission space I think it was really cool like it's not thrilling I smell grilled cheese <laughs> it's really cool visuals of, like going over the earth we said it's like soaring but like Ooh. put it I don't even know how much more high but there's no sense but like the whole motion of like feeling and moving around is there yeah. but lieutenant Dan is not in the green side he's only in the orange well, I presume he's still in the orange. Yeah, I don't think I don't know why they would have changed that video sequence whatsoever, but it's not Lieutenant Dan for green anymore. So if you are if you are have to have Lieutenant Dan, you gotta go in orange now. We hopped off of one ride around the world to hop straight on another ride around the world. We're just so cultured. Yes, we're so cultured even though we're not in World Showcase. <laughs> Oh my lanta, look at this. It's like we're the only people. We're the only people that are gonna go on soaring right now. We're gonna have a it whole while because like I've waited in this line for three or four hours. Not that long. Two hours. Two hours. And now we're literally gonna have the whole ride to ourselves. There's bound to be people over here. Fast pass people or people in line already. Oh my god, still. There's not even a cast member right there. It was literally perfect timing. To see illumination, guys. Now, if you didn't see our 35th anniversary video, you'll see on there that the globe opened with the flame thing going on. And today, and today, the, the globe opened and shooted and flamed. So heavy. We've been here like two months now, and they fixed it. And they fixed it. And who was that that came by? Carrie and Susan. Carrie and Susan said hi. It was great meeting you. And, and Mama. I said, hi, my name is Peter Brooke. And she goes, hi, I'm Mama. You guys are great. Thank you for saying hi. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. We got our nightcaps from the Boardwalk Bakery. And it's bumping because there's a conference going on. So there's a lot of people staying here. And I'm sure there are conferences during the day. It's leading to be a bumping night in all the, the restaurants and the boardwalk and look at that everyone's walking around with their lanyards having a good old time
Sarah decided to, uh, to say we should stick around and, and relax a little bit. Look at these cool little chairs we found. We're underneath the lobby of the boardwalk. And the bar up there, to give you a reference of it being an expo uh, convention going on right now, that bar is packed. This is recipe to fall asleep. It's so nice out. It is super nice out. The picture, pick, go back to like our, our fourth night here when we stayed here. Not stayed, but like we came to walk the boardwalk and we sat on the chairs. It was like 95 degrees at 10 o'clock at night. We were like sweating our faces off, talking about how we made it. We moved to Disney. And now it's between the beginning and the middle of November, or October. And it's breezy and cool. Or are people singing? No. Guys, we're leaving Beach Club right now in Epcot's or we're Illum boardwalk. boardwalk, but hold on. I wonder if the fireworks are gonna go off. World Showcase is right over there. And Illuminations. Illumination. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but Illuminations is finishing up right now. And it's eleven thirty at night. I just watched it. The only thing I can think of no, I can think of two options. Which I don't even know if they're correct. One is the convention might have like a special night at Epcot for them. And they might have done that illuminations twice. Or they're like rehearsing something. Like Ooh, I got excited for a second because I was like, wait a minute, is it gonna be new audio track? Because like the rumor is I don't know if it's a rumor or confirmed, but Siemens isn't going to be sponsoring illuminations anymore. Or Spaceship Earth. Or Spaceship Earth is what we've heard. Don't know if that's confirmed or not. Don't know my sources, and if I did, I probably wouldn't say them because if it's not confirmed, I may have heard that from a cast member. Um, but I was nervous for a second to think that it was gonna say the new sponsor if they have one. But there was no fireworks, so that was a test. Huh. Sarah's over there having a moment with Eve, talking about how confident Eve is and how cute she is and strong. But we're home. It was a really good, like I didn't think tonight was gonna end like tonight did. I wasn't even sure if what park, when we woke up, I didn't know what park we were going to. And then we realized like, oh, let's have a future world night at Epcot. And it was a great time. We had a great night at the boardwalk, um, just enjoying the atmosphere. And then we met up with some, some new friends that we met from Seashawn Vlogs. We'll put the link down below in the information, but check out their vlogs. Uh, they're from Newcastle. They're from Newcastle over in the UK across the pond. Um, it's uh, always fun to see different theme parks or just different different areas of the world and different yeah. lifestyles. So definitely give them a check them out, and uh, it was really great. It was really great having we a good. We talked with them for two hours. Yeah, we with them for two we hours. We sat at the Abracadabra. Abracadabra, I think, is what it's called. <laughs> the newer bar, <laughs> the new at, bar um, at, at the boardwalk. The boardwalk which so was really cool inside. We didn't film much when we were with them because we're we we're so. We we're just enjoying like, the company. Yeah, having a and great it was a time great time. With them. Yeah. They're leaving this area on Monday, but not going home for a few days after that. So hopefully we'll get a chance to see them before uh, they leave Central Florida on Monday because they were a great time. Yeah. But with that, tomorrow's Thursday, which means we're almost Friday, which means if it's Friday, it's the weekend. <laughs> we swear we have fun during the week, but the weekends are just always nice. Yeah. Is there anything else we have planned? Not really. For the rest of the week? No. No? I don't think, did Again, I say so today? We said, yeah, we said it today, if you have any suggestions. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Alrighty. It's well, good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>